Hey, what's up guys? I'm Liam, and a few days back, I unboxed this. The $5 Alcatel One Touch... Shut the fuck up, eBay. The $5 Alcatel One Touch Pop Nova that I got from Walmart. Um, so, as most of you guys know, this was in the clearance section, but I didn't just get this. I also got this. I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is the Alcatel One Touch Pixie Avion, or Avion. I don't know how to pronounce it. But um, it's another $5 smartphone, and this one's much newer. So, anyways, um, in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Pixie Avion, or Avion. I don't know anymore, honestly. But, um, yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, that's much better um i just i just propped up my phone stand on like a couple boxes so whatever you gotta work with what you have um but yeah anyways um let's get to unboxing this thing so i find it easier to to open these from the bottom so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rip it right here and there we go that's this corner and then rip it right or not wow hold on there we go that's <laughs> wow. Um, but, yeah, anyways. Oh, by the way, this is, like, $10 brand new. Like, um, because I got this one from the clearance section as well. Um, but normally these are $10. So, I guess we're gonna see what a $10 freaking phone is gonna be like. Um, so, before I continue, this reminds me of something. So, a while back on this channel, I reviewed the ZTE Majesty Pro. Now, this was a $30 smartphone at the time, and it proved to be way better than I thought it would be um, for a $30 brand new smartphone. This one wasn't on clearance or anything, this was just $30 brand new. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you want to see the review, then I guess I'll leave a link down in the description below. It's not too good of a review, but, I mean, still a review, and if you still want to see it, I'll still leave it down there. Um, so go make sure to check that out if you want to see that, but anyways, let's continue. Alright, so, by the way, actually here, so, I'll tell you some of the specs that are on the front. So it has a 4.5 inch touchscreen, it comes with Android Lollipop 5.1, I believe. That's Lollipop. I can't remember. But um, anyways, it has 8 gigs of internal memory, has a 2 megapixel rear-facing camera, and a even worse 0 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera. But I mean, at least it has a front-facing camera. I mean, it is a $10 phone. Um, but anyways, it's obviously Wi-Fi capable because it's fucking Android. I mean, come on. But yeah, anyways... Here you can see the phone itself, um, here's a stupid Walmart sticker, I don't care about that. Um, on the back, here's some manuals, let's see, start here, don't care, oh, there was something else, but I don't really care. Get the most out of your phone and service, don't really care. Service guide, don't care, and home phone, I don't need a home phone. Here's another manual, a uh, quick start guide, don't care, I know how to use a phone. Um, and Jesus straight talk, how many manuals do you guys need to add? What is this? Uh, terms and conditions, don't care. Here's the back cover um, for the phone. I'll set that aside. Oops, I didn't mean to knock the camera. Anyways, here's the battery. It looks smaller than the one that's in the um, Nova, but whatever. We'll test that out in a few. And here's the charging prick. Oh my god, no way. What? I haven't seen one of these in forever. What? Wait. Wait, what? Oh my god. Do you see that? <laughs> it's just completely connected to the charger brick. Like these old freaking chargers that came with flip phones. Like, okay. Come on, Alcatel. Um. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't seen that crap in forever. I'm surprised that's branded Alcatel. Doesn't even look like an Alcatel product, but whatever. Anyways, um, here's the phone itself. This is the last thing in the box. So let's put all this garbage to the side. Let's put the phone and its accessories up here. 
that's not to the side, but whatever. All right. Anyways, let's peel this off. I always love doing that. I might put that on my window or something. I don't know. Like laser video does, because I think that's kind of cool. Just like collecting those and just put them on your, on putting them on your window. Like I kind of want to do that and just see if I can fill up my entire window. Anyways, I just took that off. But um, yeah. So here's the phone itself. It looks pretty decent so far, but we'll see. Um, so here's the battery once again. How do I? Ah, there we go. Maybe. Oh, come on. I forgot about... I don't know how autofocus was turned off, but eh, whatever. So here it is. Um, let's see how many milliamps it is. It's a 1,780 milliamp battery. Not too good, but... Oh, wait. I need that. I just threw it. Um, so let's put that in. And then let's take out the back. Trash goes to the side. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, I forgot about this. I don't want to put that on my window. I forget. Let's put that right there. All right. So here's the back cover. I don't know what these two spots are on it. It's weird. That is very weird. That's really only coming up on my camera. That is so weird. All right. I don't know what that is. That might be just insulation or... Yeah, that might just be insulation. There's no way that's like NFC or something like that. I definitely know it's not wireless charging, but I mean, I doubt that's M NFC because there's no connectors or anything. But, oh my God, I keep on knocking the freaking camera. Um, so anyways, build quality. Hmm. Whoop. Kind of looks like a, a Pixie Glitz, which is like that really cheap $20 um, Android phone that came out a couple of years ago. It was, like, one of the cheapest budget phones ever. Like, just really cheap. It came out on straight talk and everything. Um, but, yeah, that's, this kind of reminds me of that. Oh, my God, I keep on dropping it, but whatever. Um, anyways, let's power this thing on. Cool, it still has juice. I would kind of expect it to have juice, honestly, being that this is, like, a brand new phone. Um... Like, they're still selling this. Not in just clearance. Like, this one is running Android 4. And this one's a pretty old one, I think. Um, but yeah, they aren't selling this one anymore, except for in, in clearance. And they only had a couple of these, so I just decided to grab one. But, um, yeah, these ones went for, like, 40 or $50 when new. So, <laughs> it's kind of surprising. Being that it only has 1.23 gigs of internal memory, so, I mean, that's really bad, but, I mean, other than the really crappy internal memory, um, I like this phone. Anyways, back on this phone, um, here, it's on the startup screen, that's cool. I don't know why that's cool, but whatever. I don't need cellular service, skip. I'll set it up in front of you, because why not? Oh, wait, let me put in my Wi-Fi password. Okay, this keyboard is really crappy. I wish it was just the stock keyboard. But I guess I'll just get the Google keyboard from the app store. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Finally. All right. No, I don't want to add my Google account. I don't really care right now. I'll add that later. Um, you know what? Skip that. I don't care. Skip. Skip. Don't need location. Don't need that. I don't need Alcatel spying on me. Neither do I need Google spy spying on me. And yay, we're in the phone. Woohoo. Um... Looks pretty nice. It's running somewhat stock Android. I mean, only the I, I believe only the icons are skinned. That's it. Um, that's what it looks like, at least. Yeah, that's literally what it looks like. Oh, wait, that just doesn't help me at all. Um, sorry for any stupid background noise. My family doesn't like to be quiet. Um, 
especially when I'm making videos. They like to be louder when I'm making videos, but whatever. Why? That should just go straight to the... Yeah, that should just go straight to that, not into a menu. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing's actually pretty fluent. At least it seems like it. Um, so yeah, um, make sure to hit that like button if you want me to do a review on this $10 phone. I would love to do that. Not really, it takes a lot of work. But, I mean, I would do it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already as well as turn on post notifications if you haven't done that already. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.